Hello future billionaire. Welcome to new video. If you're not subscribed yet. You're missing out. If you think rich. You're much more likely to become rich. This is the unanimous verdict from speaking to every wealthy person I know, and from my own research and experience in the field of generating wealth. Whilst I can't assure you millions overnight, if you use the advice in this video you won't worry about cash any longer. You'll stop seeing cash as the be-all and end all of your life, and somehow you'll probably draw in more money into your life. Poor folk don't think rich. Generating wealth is ultimately nothing more than a subconscious conviction on your part. If you can persuade your unconscious to think rich, you will get rich. It sounds crazy, but if you can somehow convince yourself that you are wealthy, you're in the game. The opposite is true, if you believe you're broke, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Thinking rich is obviously easier said than done. Up until as little as six or seven months ago, I suffered from a poverty consciousness, I saw myself as poor. In fact, no matter how much I earned, I was always worrying about money, almost constantly. Take a minute to see if my prior situation resonates with you, I was scared to check my bank balance. The mere thought of it sent a chilling rush of adrenaline and fear bolting straight to my gut. I never had any cash on me and was forever trying to find an ATM or having to borrow cash. I detested paying bills and was loathsome to give any money away. If a friend borrowed cash from me, they certainly bloody knew about it. I regularly panicked as to where the next lump of money would come from and positively hated spending it. In short, there was never enough cash and money preoccupied my thoughts the vast majority of the time. Any of the above ringing a bell? This is not exactly thinking rich, in my humble opinion. How many millionaires do you believe think like that? Luckily, I reached a tipping point, I was undeniably sick of my situation. I decided to do whatever it took to, a, stop worrying about money, b, get some money, and c, think rich. My plan worked, on all three counts. This is how I did it, and best of all, it's easy as pie. All it takes is a little motivation and a lot of imagination. Think rich and save. Alright, I'll get this one out of the way first. Just as the real secret to losing weight is to eat less and spend more time at the gym, the real secret to thinking rich and generating wealth is to spend less and save more in the bank. Boring, I know, but utterly necessary. Having the discipline to put money away every month is the key to cracking how to think rich. There are few things more rewarding and more exhilarating than seeing your savings account swell with money on a regular basis. The feeling has to be experienced to be believed, particularly if, like I did, you drain your account for every last penny each month. Saving gives you pride and confidence and makes you feel more responsible towards money. It also proportionately reduces anxiety in that the more you save, the less you worry about cash. But I never have enough money left to save, you scream. Well, this one is easy, you simply have to pay yourself first. This simple principle is worth its weight in gold. To succeed, all you have to do is pay yourself a chunk of your earnings on payday before you pay your bills, rent, mortgage, or buy any luxuries, treats, and $4 lats. Take between 10% and 20% of your earnings, pre-tax, if possible, and deposit it in a high-interest savings account, an ISA, or put it in a shoebox under your bed. All that matters is that, no matter what you ensure you get paid before any of your creditors, sod them, they've got enough money. And why shouldn't you? Please try and justify why you would work 200 hours per month to be left with nothing at the end of it. This is a life of slavery and one to avoid of all costs. There are very few people who I've explained this principle to who legitimately cannot afford to put away at least 10% of their earnings every month. Yes, you might have to lay off the new clothes, heavy nights on the town and meals out while you adjust, but adjust you will. If you can genuinely only afford to pay yourself 5% or even 1%, do it. Paying yourself first sends a wondrously powerful message to your subconscious, it affirms that you are responsible, you are earning cash, you are saving cash, and you deserve more. In short, you are beginning to think rich. Best of all, after a couple of months you will actually be excited to pay yourself on payday. I now look forward to treating myself to a chunk of cash much more than I ever did to buying myself the latest computer games, DVDs, booze and gadgets on payday. 
Paying yourself first is a powerful way to think rich, and seeing the results affirms your new abundance consciousness every time you check the balance of why. Think rich in your imagination. If the thought of being rich scares you or makes you feel in any way uncomfortable, you are not going to get rich. First, you have to think rich, and then you can be rich. You must start to visualize yourself as having all the money you'll ever need and imagine having everything you could ever want. When you're comfortable with the prospect in your mind, wealth will begin to manifest in your life. Start by imagining what it would be like to have 10 grand in the bank. When that seems realistic, go to 20 years. Really put yourself in the shoes of someone who has this much cash, see life through their eyes. Just a few minutes a day will help you here, and believe me, it's time well spent. Creative visualization forms the backbone of all my success. If you find it hard, invest in a meditation machine or isochronic tones or binaural beats, the best personal development money I've ever spent. Think rich and spend it with a smile. I used to begrudge spending money. Even though I wanted more money, I hated getting rid of it. As soon as I realized that cash is like any other energy in life, and you attract whatever you think about most, I started to get more of it. Fearing or disliking spending money sends an unbelievably poor message to your subconscious. It makes you think that money is limited or reinforces the belief that if you spend it, you won't get it back. You need to change this belief and replace it with an affirming one, namely that it is fun to spend money in fact, the point of getting money is to spend it. Practice spending money happily, not unnecessary spending I'm talking about money you were going to spend anyway. A technique I like to use is that whenever I spend cash, not only do I smile and thank my subconscious for getting me this cash in the first place, but I also imagine that whatever I spend, I'm going to get doubled back. If I spend $20, I assure myself that $40 is coming back to me from somewhere. And guess what? Since I started doing this, I've near enough doubled my income and reduced my working hours by 60%. To me, this beggars rational explanation. The happier you can get with the prospect of spending money guilt-free, the more money you will get in the future. Think rich and don't feel bad treat yourself and know that your money is coming back to you from somewhere. That's how to think rich. Applying all of the tips helped me to think rich, double my income and best of all stop worrying about money. I've managed to save thousands in a very short time and have no doubt that I will earn all I desire in the future. It's so easy to change the way you think about money and the results come quick, often within a few months. If you're sick to death of feeling poor, give these ideas a go and send me a few pounds or dollars to say thanks when you're rolling in it.